Arthur. My name is Arthur Kayama. I'm from Uganda. So, um, my question today are regarding the interview, um, regarding uh, the, the, the beautiful words from you uh, people. Yes, uh, you mentioned, we, by the way, we are very lucky that um, at the end of the day, we are free. We got an opportunity to be in the UK where we can express ourselves yeah. and everything. And regarding or considering um, all the issues raised uh, by our brother and sister from Ghana, it seems there is no hope for people back at home because they said nothing can be done. Everything is politicized. So how about an innocent by the way, the issue is they are very innocent, yeah. very, very innocent. And this is what a straight man is not going, oh, a homophobic is not going to understand this. A person is born gay, really, a person is born gay. So how about that innocent boy or girl that is born gay, an innocent lesbian, a young boy or a young girl out there in Africa? If you, if you say nothing can be done, about their situation, they cannot express themselves because uh, they fear persecution. Isn't there any hope? Isn't there any hope really for them? We are the lucky ones here. Everybody here is very lucky. How about them? Right. Is there hope? There should be hope. There should be hope. Yeah. Yes, there should be hope. And the hope is we, as people who have got an opportunity to be open as the lucky gay and lesbian men and women, we have to do something about it. How do we express it? Let's not forget our culture. Let's not forget our morals. Let's fight in peace. And <clears throat> let's stop categorizing being gay or let's stop squeezing examples of being gay with immorality. Being gay is not about sex. It's not, it's not about sex, you know? Mm -hmm. Love is love. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we've got a lot of gay people out there mm -hmm. that are in a relationship and they have spent months and months without having sex. Yeah. So let's stop categorizing gay, you know, like uh, uh, LGBT or, you know, people in rela gay relationships with sex. Let's stop bringing... Sex is not immorality. It's a beautiful thing. I love sex. I love Everybody that. loves sex. Mm -hmm. But let's that. stop categorizing gay and all the people that think <clears throat> that they are fighting for the rights of gay people. It's not about sex. What, some of us... We are in love, you know, I'm not, I'm single, I'm single, but I, I mean like I've been in a relationship before whether, where it's not about sex. So this is the only way we're going to help our brothers and sisters. Let's stop categorizing or, you know, bringing out issues of LGBT, uh, you know, um, squeezing it with sex, you know, walking naked. Um, if I come and talk about, you know, gay, I, 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 I don't have to skip the sex beat of it, you know? So we can always do that. without, And that is the only way a person or a homophobic is going to sit down and listen. It's very hard to convince a homophobic person. But that's the only way we are going to win. At least whatever we are discussing is going to be grasped by people that's in case we don't squeeze being gay with immorality or sexual intercourse. Mm. And then, of course, in relationships, love and everything, sometimes they walk in line with sex. But at the end of the day, I don't think those are bedroom issues. Nobody's supposed to. That's where the problem is. That's where very, Afri very many Africans are not listening to us. Mm -hmm. Homophobists are not listening to us because of that issue. That's all right. Thank right. you very much, Atta. You're welcome. What, what, what Atta has just said is that...